Welcome to this edition of Alexander County Now. In this month's episode, learn more about Karen Martin of the Alexander County YMCA as she provides helpful tips on how to keep your New Year's resolution. The business spotlight is on Carolina Water Technology. Library Director Laura Crooks talks books in the library corner and she introduces us to the new one-click digital library. Find out more about rock climbing classes being offered at Rocky Face Park and learn more about the Alexander County Points Challenge running series in Alexander County. We've also talking about upcoming events in February. All this and more in this edition of Alexander County Now. Guys, have you ever tried rock climbing? If you've ever considered it, well, Alexander County has the perfect spot. That's Rocky Face Park. It's right here in your backyard. The park is teaming up with Rock Dimensions in February to offer three opportunities to learn how to rock climb. We'll learn more from park ranger Alicia Stamey. Hello, I'm Alicia Stamey, park ranger at Rocky Face Mountain Recreational Area. Winter is a great time to enjoy the trails here at Rocky Face. There are five miles of trail that lead to the mountain summit and along the top loop of Hollow Rock Trail, there are some gorgeous views. On clear days, you can see the Marshall Steam Station, the Charlotte Skyline, Table Rock, and Grandfather Mountain. The trails are well marked with markers along the way and maps at each trail intersection. For those of you who don't want to venture to the top, we also have a paved walking track in the quarry area. Visitors just need to sign in at the picnic shelter when you arrive and grab a map. If you have any questions, you can stop by the park office. There is always a park ranger on duty during operating hours. If you own a GPS device or a smartphone, then another fun activity we have here at the park is geocaching. Similar to a treasure hunt, you go to geocaching.com, download the coordinates, come to the park, and use your device with the coordinates to find hidden things. Right now, we have about 20 hidden geocaches located throughout the park. Because Rocky Face is an abandoned quarry, it's perfect for rock climbing. Believe it or not, rock climbing season here at Rocky Face is in the winter. Rock climbing has a history dating back to the 70s here at the park, and thanks to Carolina Climbers Coalition, Rock Dimensions, and some other local volunteers, we now have close to 50 climbing routes. This season, we have partnered with a guide company out of Boone, and we will be offering rock climbing classes for the public here at the park. If you are interested in participating in climbing classes, contact Rock Dimensions at 828-265-3544, call the park office at 828-632-1093, or email me at astamey at alexandercountync.gov. Also, be sure and check the event calendar on our website at rockyfacepark.com for more information on upcoming programs and events. Free public events for February include a sunset hike on Saturday, February 28th. Wow, sounds like a lot of fun. I wish I had the nerve to rock climb myself, but I uh, hope our residents and our visitors out there will take advantage of this unique opportunity we have here in Alexander County. So visit RockyFacePark.com for more details about these climbing events and about the park itself. I'm Emily Vick, registered nurse with the Alexander County Health Department. Flu vaccines are now available at the Alexander County Health Department for people six months of age and older. In addition to traditional flu shots, we also offer flu mist nasal spray. These vaccines are given on Tuesday and Wednesday afternoons from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. and Friday mornings from 8.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. No appointment is necessary. We accept Cigna, Coventry, and Blue Cross Blue Shield private insurance along with Medicare, Medicaid, North Carolina Health Choice, or a $35 self-payment. The CDC recommends that all people six months of age and older should get a flu vaccine. Vaccination is especially important for people at higher risk of severe influenza and their close contacts, including healthcare personnel and close contacts of children younger than six months. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at 828-632-9704 or visit our website at alexanderhealth.org. I'm sure many of you made a New Year's resolution, right? Well, the most popular one, of course, is to lose weight or to get in shape. So we're gonna speak with Karen Martin, who is the wellness director at the Alexander County Family YMCA, and she's gonna tell us how the Y can help us achieve our fitness goals and tell us more about the benefits of exercise. Hi, I'm Karen Martin. I'm the wellness director here at the Alexander County YMCA. 
I've been with the YMCA here in Alexander County for almost 15 years. I uh, started over when we were the storefront at um, downtown and then we moved over here about four or five years ago. So I've been here about 15 years. I'm sure many of you made a New Year's resolution, whether it's to lose weight or to get more exercise, quit smoking, um, and many more reasons. But here at the Y, we can help you achieve those goals and actually keep you to commit to your resolution. And many ways that we can do that is by the different equipment and classes that we offer. We have um, cardio equipment, which is treadmills, ellipticals, bicycles that you can do, and also selectorized um, equipment, which is basically a free weight um, style machine um, that will basically help you keep proper form. So if you're new to the scene, that this would help you with that. Also, we have just the basic free weights that you could do that on your own. And then if you do not like um, exercising on your own or you need someone with you or need to be accountable to someone, you can do group exercise classes um, with a group. So you can meet friends there also. And then the instructors are very helpful in getting you started and help directing you in, um, in the class setting as well. And then we also have personal training. So if you need someone one-on-one -on -one to help guide you, um, we can do that through our personal training, personal trainers, and we also do small groups. If you've got a friend, a family, or several of you that want to work together, you can also do that in the per with a personal trainer. And then another thing that we really love um, is we have specialized programs going on, so get on your way. It's more of an eight-week program to sort of help you get that healthy lifestyle started. And um, that's coming up February 17th, so if you're interested in that, please give us a call. But you will have a personal trainer in that group that will help guide you several times. And then one more thing that I really want to mention that we have here that can sort of help you get on on your healthy way is the Live Strong program, which is basically for cancer survivors. Um, so you as a cancer survivor out there that wants to try to find your new normal, get back to your normal life, this is a great program to do. It's like a 12-week program, um, and it starts March the 2nd. So we are talking with people now. So if any of you guys know of a cancer survivor, please let us know. Give us a call, and we'll be glad to give you more information on that. Exercise has so many benefits, both physically and mentally. Some of the benefits um, that people are looking for, and I'm sure you are too, um, is weight loss, health, heart health, muscle tone, strength, and overall well-being. So we do have people that come in that are different ages, uh, different reasons for coming in. So um, even people from uh, physical therapy that's finished up um, with their therapist and then they're released. Well, where do they go? What do they do? Um, we can help you here continue what the therapist has shown you there. So um, we are here for you. Everybody comes in for different reasons, um, but we're, we're able to help you with that. So please come in and uh, talk with us and we'll try to get you started. February is a national heart month. Heart disease continues to be the number one cause of death in our country. The American Heart Association recommends that each person um, do about 30 minutes of exercise five days a week. We can help you with that. We can help you stay committed with this and keep you on a regiment too. So we here at the Y can help you reach your exercise goal while having fun at the same time. That's the key. Find something that you like or that you enjoy and we can do that here at the Y. We encourage everyone in our community to visit the Y and see what's right for you. We do have a small one-time joiner's fee when you first join, as well as a monthly charge. But you can work out as much and as often as you like. We do have, once you join, instead of you coming in, signing up, well, what do you do then? We will guide you. It's not like you will be let go and then you figure it out from there. So we will assign you with a wellness coach and have you fit sessions is what we call that. So that's three small sessions to help you help guide you to get you um, in that avenue of what your goal is and to be able to succeed with that. The hours here at the Alexander County YMCA are Monday through Thursday, 5 a.m., yes, 5 a.m. for those early birds till 9 p.m. at night. And then Fridays again, we're open at 5 a.m. for you early birds and then we close at 7. And then on Saturdays we open at 7 and we close at 2. Sunday we are closed completely. So if you do have questions, please give us a call at 828-632-9699, or you can visit our website, which is www.acfamilyymca.org, and we'll be glad to help you. Come on out and visit us at the Alexander County Family YMCA. As a while, we strive to help make Alexander County a wonderful place to live, work, and play. So come on out and join us.
Thank you, Karen. Our local YMCA is a great place to work out and to get in shape, both physically and mentally. You're truly an asset to our community, and we thank you for all that you do. Welcome to the Library Corner. I'm Laura Crooks, the director of the Alexander County Library, and I'd like to share with you a peek at what you can access with your library card. Today we'll look at some new titles, one you might have missed, and a little something for the season. New in fiction, take a look at The Boy Who Drew Monsters by Keith Donahue. Rather than just tell you what it's about, I'd like you to hear what a few reviewers had to say. Popular Mechanics said, The novel is a pressure cooker, an airtight room with limited oxygen, and an astute study of the mysterious demons that loss breeds. The book's final twist, and by final, I mean like the very last sentence, is satisfying in a sixth sense kind of way, but the manner in which Donahue keeps us in the dark until then is the novel's real reward. The Richmond Times Dispatch says, The Boy Who Drew Monsters is a masterfully controlled example of the literary horror genre. The setting is vividly gothic and evocative, and Donahue builds tension and fear in that strange snowbound world at an exquisitely slow pace. And book page adds, With a mind-bending final twist, The Boy Who Drew Monsters, much in the tradition of the classic Turn of the Screw, will leave readers shaking in their boots. New in nonfiction, you may have an interest in the Mediterranean cookbook, Fresh, Fast, and Easy Recipes from DK Publishers, bringing together authentic recipes from Italy, Greece, Provence, Northern Africa, and the Middle East. DK's Mediterranean cookbook gives cooks the necessary tools to recreate the flavors of the Mediterranean in their own homes. Fresh, healthy, and easy to make, the Mediterranean cookbook contains more than 300 recipes, from citrus lamb tagine and leek moussaka to panzanella and tzatziki. This cookbook is a wonderful resource for families that want to eat fresh, fast, and healthy. And new in ebooks, ebooks. Link from our website at www.alexanderlibrary.org to our new one click digital bookshelf. You'll find popular fiction, nonfiction, and classic literature in ebook and in e audiobook format. These have a three week checkout period and no late fees. They return automatically at the end of the checkout period. If you have any questions about getting set up, call the library or the help number listed on our website. One title you might have missed, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Don't judge this book by its truly unfortunate cover or its tendency to show up on required reading lists. This is one of those classics of literature that is absolutely worth reading. In 1951, Ray Bradbury imagined a world with interactive reality TV and screens on all the walls, a world where thinking for yourself is dangerous and firemen burn books to keep us safe. This is another book you won't be able to put down, and Fahrenheit 451? the temperature at which book paper catches fire and burns. Starting the year fresh in 2015, you may want to learn something new. Perhaps you have a new business in mind, or you're in charge of advertising a fundraiser, or maybe you just want a yard sale sign that people will take notice of. The Non-Designers Design Book by Robin Williams is the perfect place to start. This book is straightforward and full of examples of good design principles for newsletters, brochures, flyers, and more. You will find inspiration and direction as you learn what makes a design look professional. I hope you'll visit us at the library and see how much more we have to offer. I'm Gary Herman with the Alexander County Economic Development Corporation. We're working on our Buy Local campaign to encourage our citizens and our visitors to support our local businesses and our local economy. This is the Alexander County Business Spotlight. We're here at Carolina Water Technology. They're located at 22 National Guard Armory Road in Taylorsville, just off Highway 16 North of Taylorsville. It's my pleasure to be speaking with the owner, Mr. Gary Davis. Gary, thank you for letting us come out today. Thank you for letting us be here on camera. Well, <laughs> it's our pleasure. Uh, we want to tell the folks, the good folks out here in Alexander and surrounding counties, uh, what kind of services you offer here at Carolina Water Technology. Some people may have not have heard of, of your business before. Uh, personally, uh, I had a system installed several years ago at my home when we had new construction. We had a sediment problem with our well. So uh, I have some personal experience with your company. You weren't the owner at that time, but uh, I can attest uh, you've come out and looked at my system and uh, re real, real good service from you guys. So we're going to tell the public what Carolina Water Technology is all about. Now, I understand the business was actually established back in 1985. Yes, that's uh, Mr. Clyde Hubbard started the business then, and uh, it's evolved over the years. Uh, his grandson and 
then the business was moved from Hickory, and, and then um, I bought, had the opportunity to uh, purchase the business in uh, May of 2013 and moved it back to Taylorville almost where the business began to begin with. Oh, cool. So Mr. Hubbard, he was near this area here on uh, NC-16 North, and uh, then you brought it back to Alexander County. We yeah. appreciate that, uh, Gary, much, very much. So thank you. Uh, now, folks are wondering, Carolina Water Technology, what is that all about? Uh, it's mainly what? Uh, filtration? Treatment? Tell us all about your uh, business here. Well, Carolina Water consists of uh, water filtration systems. Uh, some people uh, don't understand what that actually means is, you know, they think, well, coming into a home or a business and just slapping a filter on the wall, and that's not it. It's, it's more than that. Uh, most of our tanks are around four to five feet tall. Uh, we like to say we don't install filters. We install filter systems. And uh, once they're installed, they're, they're very customer-friendly. Uh, you know, we can, we can deal with, well, I have two suppliers, and they tell me there's nothing we can't filter at, and that includes well water, that includes the county water, that poultry houses, uh, dairy farms. Uh, we have a, a system on a show horse a farm, and so, you know, there again, uh, we're told, uh, and so far we've been able to filter everything out there, and, I mean, arsenic everything. That's a pretty good track record there, Gary. Yep. Uh, and so some of the things that you filter out would be, of course, like rock dust or sediment, uh, chlorine for uh, like county type water. Um, then you've got iron, sulfur, things of that nature. Is that correct? That's correct. It's, it's kind of like the, the old theme of the, the Sears logo or the statement years ago. You, you can get good, better, and best. And, you know, we, you, we can start at an entry-level system and, and add to it. And it's just, uh, you know, the price range varies. Just, just whatever a customer wants to put into their uh, system, um, they can start at, uh, like I said, at an entry-level and add to it and um, have clean water. So you're, in essence, what you're saying is you can kind of start them out on a system, see if that works for them, and if that doesn't do the trick, maybe they can upgrade. That's correct. Uh, of course, uh, we have the capability to, to do on-site water testing. Um, also, we're in the process of uh, myself and my wife, we're going to be uh, taking uh, classes to be lab techs, and actually we'll be adding to the business to uh, have a lab in Alexander County uh, which is just going to broaden horizons, not just for the business, but for the customers themselves. It will make it easier on them to have water tests and all that. Well, that's pretty neat, having water testing right here in Alexander County. And you did mention your wife, and that's Debbie. Uh, she's right here. Uh, she's going to be a big asset to you here at the at the business. Uh, you used to work for Gary Goble Insurance, I understand. So uh, Gary uh, Davis is glad to have his wife to be working with him now. So very good. All right. Now, um, I noticed you have a really nice website. It's carolinawatertech.com. And uh, so folks can go there and learn more about your business. And also, um, I'd like for you to tell us a little bit more about why the folks out here in Alexander County should keep their business local. I know uh, you appreciate people when they don't look outside of Alexander County for uh, a system such as this when they come to you. So why should others uh, support our local businesses here? Well, you know, one of the questions I think we all have is is the concern about the economy. You know, if we're always sending our money somewhere else, then, you know, it's always going somewhere else. You know, uh, for us to support each other, you know, the local farmers, you know, the businesses here in town, you know, the water filtration business, I mean, you know, uh, Price-wise, you know, I'm told by customers that we have some of the best prices. But there again, you know, if you're paying somebody even five dollars more outside the county, well, that's that's an extra five dollars that's going somewhere else. And so, you know, um, it makes it easier on us as a business to perform and give good service. But to to buy local, it it just helps us all. Very good answer. Thank you, Gary. And I understand uh, you do actually do work in probably about seven other counties besides Alexander. So uh, we've got a local business yep. doing a lot of good things in this uh, region. So Well, actually, we're now in eight counties, and uh, we're uh, what we've got going on right now, we're, we're knocking on the door of ten counties. 
So, you know, um, that makes me feel real good as far as the base. Of course, the base is here in Alexander County, but to have um, customers in eight surrounding counties, and like I say, we're uh, we're knocking on the door of having uh, ten counties total, um, which is just good for business. Well, speaks volume about your customer service, your quality, and the service that you provide. So uh, we thank you for having your home base here in Alexander County. And, of course, uh, water is essential to life, folks. So if you're having a problem with your water system, your well, whatever, give Gary and Debbie a call. And they'll be glad to come out and give you a free estimate on a system for your home. So what are your hours and your phone number, Gary? Well, most of the time it's... it's 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sometimes it's longer than that, but, you know, that's Monday through Friday. Uh, occasionally we do some work on Saturday, but, you know, we need a little rest and we need a little uh, time to mow the grass and things like that around here. But, but normally, you know, uh, if the phone rings, we answer it. And that would be? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> and is that 632-0188? That is. All right, folks, so 828-632-0188. That's carolinawatertech.com. All right, we encourage you all to come out here and support Carolina Water Technology, located at 22 National Guard Armory Road on Highway 16 north of Taylorsville. Buy local, Alexander County. To learn more about our Buy Local Alexander County campaign, visit the Alexander County EDC website, alexanderedc.org, or give me a call. 828-632-1378. Buy local, Alexander County. Hey, what's going on in February? Well, we're going to start out with the Alexander Central High School Cougar basketball team. They play at the Cougar Den on February 6th versus South Iredale and on February 12th versus North Iredale. Games begin at 4 p.m. Go out and support Cougar Athletics. Go Cougars! Hey, and what are you doing for Valentine's Day? You know, it's February. Enjoy a Valentine's Day dinner at Old Steel Golf Club in Bethlehem on Saturday, February 14th. For only $25.95 a person, you and your significant other can enjoy a three-course meal in a romantic setting. Drink specials will be available. Reservations are being accepted for the 5.30 and 7 o'clock seatings. A deposit is required when making your reservation. Call 828-598-0327 or visit oldsteelgolf.com. McClendon's Restaurant at Brushy Mountain Golf Club invites the public to its Valentine's Day party on Saturday, February 14th at 6.30 p.m. For a cost of $75 per couple, attendees will enjoy Chef Adam's Italian Buffet, live music by Shakedown, complimentary valet parking, and a complimentary glass of champagne. The ladies will also receive a long-stemmed rose. Call 828-632-4804 or visit BrushyMountainGolf.com. This event is not in February, but I encourage you to go ahead and mark your calendars now for Rocky Fest 2015. The third annual Rocky Fest is set for Saturday, May 9th at Rocky Face Mountain Recreational Area. The event will begin with 5K, 10K, and 20K trail races at 8 a.m. Free rock climbing and rappelling classes will begin at 9 a.m. and will be offered throughout the day. Children's activities, inflatables, Food vendors and arts and crafts vendors will be set up by 11 a.m. Live music will run from 12 noon until 6 p.m. Arts and crafts vendors as well as sponsors are currently being sought for the event. If your business or organization would like to be a sponsor, contact Rick French at 828-632-9332 or rfranch at alexandercountync.gov. Attention runners, Alexander County has begun the Alexander County Points Challenge points-based running program to encourage participation and competition in the local running community. In the program, participants will earn points for each mile they run in an official race based on the race length. The 2015 points series runs from January 15th to November 15th, 2015. Points will be awarded for official races as follows, 5K and under, one point per mile, 3.2 miles to 10 miles, 1.5 points per mile, 10.1 miles to 26.2 miles, 2 points per mile, and 26.3 miles and over, 
three points per mile. Points will only be awarded for finishing an official race, which is defined as one that issues race numbers or bibs, records official times for each runner, and has results and finisher times posted on the internet or in a running publication. The runner must complete the race distance for which he or she registered or no points will be awarded. Also, running segments of biathlons and triathlons may be counted. Runners who finish four Alexander County running events in 2015 will also receive 500 additional points. Here is a list of races this year in Alexander County. Sign up for the fifth annual Robins Run 5K on March 28th. The Rocky Fest 2015 Trail Runs, which includes the Kurt Barkley 5K and the Rocky Fest 10K and 20K on May 9th. The Great Race 4K on May 16th. Caring Hearts 5K on June 6th. The Lake Hickory Triathlon on June 27th, the 9th Annual Hidnight Festival 5K, 10K, and Half Marathon on September 26th, the 18th Annual Alexander County Family YMC Apple Festival 5K on October 17th, the Scare to Rock Halloween 5K and Fun Run on October 31st, and the Race to the Cove 5K on November 7th. We've got a lot of great races here in Alexander County, so sign up soon. The 2015 points winners will be announced at the Rotary Reindeer Romp 8K, which is set for November 28th, and that's going to be the first Alexander County race in the 2016 points series. Now, each runner is responsible for submitting his or her uh, race results to the county within 10 days of the completed event for the points to be awarded. Race results, which include the race name and the distance, should be submitted to Rick French at rfrench at alexandercountync.gov. This contest is open to all runners, not just Alexander County residents, and you can run in races that are not inside Alexander County. The winning uh, runners uh, will receive free entry into all Alexander County races in the 2016 series, and the top three males and top three females will earn medals in the open category and in the Alexander County category. The Alexander County Points Challenge leaderboard will be updated regularly on the Alexander County website at alexandercountync.gov slash events. Just click on Alexander County Points Challenge. For more information, call Rick French at 828-632-9332. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Alexander County Now. Encourage your friends and family to tune in on Alexander County's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash alexandercountync or on the government channel, which is Charter Channel 192 or AT&T Uverse 99. See you next month.